Good morning, everyone. Um, so my name is Christophe. I'm a WASH engineer and epidemiologist working with IFRC and the country support platform. And today I'm going to present you some of the discussion that we had in the WASH in uh, National Control Plan uh, working group. Um, so uh, basically, I think we we had a couple of um, of meeting with this within the working group, and um, the idea was to uh, try to define exactly what our uh, subgroup will uh, will will be doing, uh, knowing that. Uh, some of our activities are uh, also linked with the work of uh, other uh, work streams. So we are saying that if we want to, I think we, we touched upon this uh, in the previous session, but if we want to uh, achieve uh, the 2013 uh, roadmap objectives, then we need a strong enga engagement of the WASH sector and not um, separate engagement of WASH actors. So we need to come all together um, and the, the, the way forward is really to align our work and efforts on national cholera control plans um, that would be defined at national level. So this working group uh, will try to help define uh, some of the guidance and tools on how um, at national level, WASH sector uh, actors, uh, government and other partners should identify, prioritize, plan and implement those WASH interventions in cholera hotspots. So just as a reminder um, on the development of national control plan uh, process, so it's a four step uh, process in a way, uh, where we have uh, an initial uh, uh, phase or a preparatory phase for the for the development of the national control plan then the development itself where we would set the goals and priorities then the implementation phase where we might need some more detailed operational guidance on how we are going to do it and then uh, how we follow up on progresses so basically the wash in ncp working group need to address the needs at the different step of the process. So we try to summarize a bit uh, uh, how we intend to do this. We would like to, uh, as I mentioned before, support the development of methodology and tools so that we, like from a country to another, we apply the same approach in uh, defining uh, how we are going to work in and uh, prioritize wash investments in cholera hotspots. At the same time, to support the development of guidance and standard uh, procedures for uh, selecting the, the, the appropriate or the context-specific uh, WASH interventions for the national control plans or for WASH intervention implementations. And then to support as well the development of uh, a kind of monitoring and evaluation uh, plan or framework on how we are going to measure progress towards uh, uh, cholera control. So for now, we've identified a number of, uh, wor of uh, uh, work streams or uh, sub-elements that we need to work on to be able to, to, to do this. The, the first one would be, because the work will not be done uh, basically at a global level, but at country level. So we need to um, uh, help set uh, an, uh, terms of reference for uh, the WASH actors that the WASH working group uh, at country level that will work on the elaboration of the NCP. So some uh, terms of reference have been already developed in draft and this can be shared later on uh, on the session so that everyone can, uh, can uh, comment and contribute. Um, so this was a, a, a work uh, uh, not uh, done collectively in the group, but already uh, prepared uh, by the CSP uh, because we 
anticipated the, the need when we need to support uh, countries to develop their NCPs. Uh, but uh, I mean, it will be shared with everyone, and so all the all the group can have its say. Um, we need to to work on how we are going to. Uh, uh, I think we we already touched about uh, touch upon this in the wash data uh, uh, working group uh, presentation, but we need to define how we are going to assess and plan for those wash investments. And so, two elements on, on this: how we are going to uh, prioritize based main, mainly uh, maybe on wash vulnerability, and how we are going to plan and prioritize also based on the cost of washing investment that needs to be made in each of the of those hotspots. So in fact, in those, um, we haven't had uh, uh, the time to discuss within the working group all, all these elements, but we see this as a high priority and we'll have a follow-up session, I think this afternoon, uh, where we can present some more uh, uh, thinking or and we can collectively uh, also gather uh, your feedback on the the way forward and how we we, we can do this and i think uh, unicef and cdc will also uh, give some insight on what they've already been uh, doing uh, into this work and um, we see as well uh, for the implementation phase the need to have uh, guidelines that will help uh, uh, to select uh, intervention based on the context and 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 for this there is al already some work that have been uh, uh, worked on i think since one year or two i don't know by um, tuft university uh, and so we already have a basis for uh, for doing all this and uh, it's great because we don't have to reinvent everything um, so I, I i don't know if that moment you, you, you want to just say, well, I don't want to put you in, in on the spot, but otherwise we can wait for questions and then you can, okay. So I'm just finishing. So some of the challenges that we, we might face in, in doing this is to try to reconcile the different piece of work that have already been uh, uh, done by different actors with maybe different stage of the development process and, and try to find an harmonized way of doing it all together. And on opportunities and how we can uh, move forward, I think uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, uh, advantage that we see in this uh, working group that a lot of work has already been done, so we, we will not reinvent everything, but we'll have to maybe uh, just uh, uh, clarify how the different pieces come all together. And uh, we definitely need more uh, work and interaction with other WASH working group, and I think in particular uh, WASH data, but also advocacy, because most of what will be coming out of this work on WASH in NCP, uh, maybe to some extent will be on the implementation or operationalization phase, but most of it will also be used for advocacy and resource mobilization on how we can uh, make sure that WASH investment go into those uh, uh, priority areas. And uh, that's it. That's the composition of our group. And uh, so I, I leave the floor now uh, uh, for questions. <laughs>